AI video editing is upon us, my friends. That's right, drag and drop, let the computer do the work for you is officially here, or slightly at least. In this video, I'm going to break down an amazing tool that I cannot wait to tell you about that I am personally obsessed with that is going to significantly cut down on your edit time. I'm Amanda Horvath and I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So if you're looking to use video in your strategy this year, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. The epic tool that I'm introducing you to today is called Time Bolt. It is an amazing software that will find all of the gaps within your video and cut them out. Whether it was just you sitting there and thinking about what to say next, or a gap between words that would make your video edit much faster and engaging to watch. Now before I save you a ton of time, let's have a little fun. Think about the last video that you edited and how long it took you to edit it, and go ahead and drop that in the comment section below, and now let's save you some time. BT dubs, if at any point while you're watching this video you feel like Time Bolt is a good tool to add to your toolkit, then I've linked to my affiliate link in the description below, as well as a 20% off coupon so that you can save some money, my friend. You're welcome. So right here, I have a one take video that is roughly four and a half minutes long. I made it super quick and efficient because I needed to shoot at you know 7 p.m. one day, or actually I think it was like 11 p.m. and get my video up by 7 a.m. and I was already burned out and didn't wanna do much work. So this is a perfect example to show you within Time Bolt. So if we want to edit this very quickly in a way that actually will make the video engaging to watch, here's how we do it. So this is what Time Bolt looks like when you open it up. Super simple, easy interface. We are just going to drag and drop that video into there and it will begin to process it. So while it is doing its processing thing, I wanna point out that for this use case, I did record my audio going directly into my camera and there is a way that you can record separate audio and video and even have multiple cameras and sync them together. So you could do that, but the workflow that I'm going to show you is when audio and video are recorded nicely into one clip. So within a few seconds, it has already analyzed my data and I can go ahead and make this full screen here. We can click this toggle expand timeline and just by a quick scroll, you can see that it has cut out different gaps. Now, what you can do whenever you click the space bar, it's going to play all of the clips that is, it is keeping. If you add any false starts or maybe some takes that you don't want in there, then all you have to do is move your playhead over the section that you do not want and click O to turn it off. And if you ever need any help with keyboard shortcuts, they've made it super simple and they have this little thing right here that tells you all of the keyboard shortcuts that you can use, like O. And so you just click play, listen, and if you wanna keep one that is turned off, you can uh, use that same function to turn it on and off. Now let's say you wanted to cut a clip and like you had a false start and it kept that one part, but you wanna keep the rest of it. So let's just pretend here what we can do is split this track by using Command D or Command B. Once again, you can use the keyboard shortcut split timeline right there in order to do that and click O in order to turn that off. So you would listen to the full video, turn anything off that you don't want on, and then you go ahead and export the clip. In order to export the clip, you just scroll on down and right here, you can choose where to save the file by clicking change output file path, or you can double check that that's where you want to save the file, that's fine too. Then you would click add to render queue and click start rendering in order to export that file. And it'll take a second, do its thing and make it happen. And then once it does, it will look like just a regular file, an MOV file that you can take and upload to wherever you need to release that video. But let's say you wanna take things one step further and export an XML file. That would take all of the edits that Timebolt created and make those edits within your editing software. So what you would do is export either your Final Cut XML or just a regular XML 
and then you could take that and put it into your software. Now, the value of doing this is that, once again, you could take things to that next step. You could add color correction to your clip. You could add these different graphic overlays that you might wanna add. You could crop in and out in order to hide these jump cuts but you're still saving yourself tons of time by doing the bulk of the editing within TimeBolt instead of having to do it within your editing software. So what do you think? Are you as mind blown and excited about this software as I am? I highly recommend getting your hands on it and giving it a trial run at least to see if it works for you to speed up your editing process. Once again, I have linked to my affiliate link as well as that 20% off coupon code in the description below, so be sure to grab that. And if this video is helpful, please do me a favor, click like, drop a comment below letting me know your thoughts. It always makes my day whenever a comment comes across my phone and I get to engage with you guys. So I am a real person on the other side of this and appreciate all of your comments. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.